Ang kutyo. Please be seated. Ang... The President. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. The prosecution, you may continue putting your questions to the witness. Vous pouvez continuer à poser vos questions aux témoins. Thank you, Mr. President. Accusation. Mr. Merci, so Pang, if we Président. could return to this so document Pang. again and discuss some of the document. features. You said earlier that Telegram number 54 represented a, a, a number, a sequential number, if I understood correctly. Um, was that a number that was allocated by the sender? And did it represent the number of telegrams sent up to that point. Est-ce que celui-ci représentait le nombre de télégrammes et ont été envoyés jusqu'à celui-là? Uh, this is not an outgoing telegram. It was a telegram coming from Mondol Kiri. C'est un telegram envoyé depuis le Mondol Kiri. Thank you. I think we, we may be having some interpretation difficulties. Um, what does 54 represent? Does it represent the number of telegrams sent already, or is it, is it something else? Is it the number of telegrams sent already, or is it something else? Is it the number of telegrams it's a telegram, Ce telegram numéro 54. sent, and it has already been decoded. It's a telegram qui a été envoyé et qui a déjà été décrypté. It is not an outgoing message. Ce n'est pas the un te message This telegram sortant. was received was decoded. And number 54 is a sequential number. Le chiffre 54 so it means there, there was 53, and then this is 54. It's a sequential number. Y a eu le 53 et que Thank you. Um, on a le 54. Would that sequential un number start from zero Merci. in every month, in every year, or would it simply continue from zero zéro, um, par exemple, until whatever number ultimately is arrived at? Est-ce qu'on partait de zéro et puis euh, le chiffre uh, augmenté euh, au fur et à mesure, sans remise à zéro? Sequence number réponse. starts from zero one. Le numéro séquentiel commençait avec le numéro zéro un. Et ce jusqu'à 99. Et quand il est à 99, on repartait. So that's how the sequential number is used. C'est comme cela qu'on numérote. Thank you. You said that the telegrams, Merci. the telegram, this particular telegram, came from Mondolkiri. How are you able to identify it as a telegram coming from Mondolkiri? Comment saviez-vous que ce télégramme était envoyé du Mandolkiri I used to decode such a message and the person who signed the telegram by the name of Sarun 
That's how I knew it. So you, you knew that Sarun held a position in the Mandulkiri region, is that correct? Occupait des fonctions dans la région du Mandulkiri, c'est ça? Yes. Réponse, oui. Sarun was the sector secretary in Sarun charge of Mandulkiri province. Du secteur chargé Thank you. Now, if we Merci. look at the bottom of that page, just below Sarun's name, page, we see a, a date, 23rd April 1978, and then we see a line stating received ensuite, on the 23rd April 1978 at 2300 hours. The words received on 23 April 1978, is it correct that that was written at the receiving end? One would assume K18, but perhaps you can enlighten us. But, uh, the date of the receipt was the one that I personally noted after I received and decoded it on a particular date at a particular hour, then I would write it last, that is, after the date of the message itself. La date du message. So this message was sent on the 23rd April 1978 and it was decoded and completed on the 23rd April 1978 at 2300 hours. That is after the completion of the decoding of this message. Une fois le message entièrement décrypté. And then we see below Question. that line Another Sous cette line, motion, which is as follows, copied to colon, une autre ligne, uncle, copy de uncle point, Nguyen, uncle Van, à l'oncle Nguyen, uncle Vaughan, Van, office, à l'oncle Vaughan, documents. Au bureau, Can I ask you first, who placed those those words on the page, copied to, etc. Que je viens de lire sur cette page. The one who had the authority to write that uh, line was my supervisor, Mr. Pond and Mr. Tay. C'était mon su mes supervisors, Mr. Pond et Mr. Tay. As for me, I only had the authority to Moi, write down the date of the receipt and the completion time of the decoding of the message. De et de la date de, du Thank you. Du message. Je vous remercie. When we look at that line, we see that it is typed. On voit que cette ligne est Same as the rest of the telegram. Tout comme le reste du telegram. So, was it the case that you were given an instruction by Pont and Tay as to who this would be copied to, and you would type those words on the page? Or was oui, that done message. later uh, by Pont and Tay separately? The line starting with the copy to. Réponse. La ligne qui commence par copy à. I can only put the date of the receipt and the time of the completion. Moi, and that line de was later on la date par laquelle, used la date with a carbon copy for the distribution to respect the people. Une fois que l'on a procédé à la copie carbone du document 
et or to des copies envoyées which à cette uncle et il était décidé à quel oncle based on those who had the authority to copy the message to d'après ceux qui avaient l'autorité de copier le message à quelqu'un just so i have a a crystal clear understanding le procureur pour did you type bien compris only one permettez-moi de vous demander si vous copy. avez dactylographié une seule copie or did you in your office after translating votre bureau après avoir actually type le message four or five avez-vous using, tapé, using carbon, en carbon paper du papier carbone avez-vous donc tapé quatre ou cinq exemplaires de ce document réponse I use carbon papers and the use of the carbon copies du papier carbone. were based on the decision made by Pond Et or T. Pond ou T qui prenait des décisions. And sometimes I just typed that in because the instructions were already given in advance regarding whom the document or the message so be copied to. But for other telegramme. messages which pour I was not clear contre, before I typed copy to, I needed to ask for the authority first as to whom I saw typed in that line. Qui je devais ajouter à cette liste de distribution. Thank you very much for, for that clarification. Le procureur, je vous remercie de cette précision. If we can look at the specific individuals listed in that line, qui figurent sur la these are liste de distribution. the names that you gave Les noms que in your vous statement, vous avez E3 slash 64, Khmer ERN 0038041, French 00411709, and English 00334058. You looked at the telegram and you interpreted those words as follows. Grand Uncle Noon referred to Noon Chair. Grand Uncle Noon referred to Noon Chair. Fait référence à Noon Chair. Copied to Grand Uncle referred to Paul Pot. Grand Uncle cela faisait référence Grand à Paul Uncle Noon was Noon Chair. Noon était Noon Chair. Grand Uncle Grand Van was Yang Sari. C'était Yang Sari. Grand Uncle Vaughan Grand Uncle Vaughan referred to Vaughan Vett. Faisait référence à Vaughan Vett. Who was the Minister of Finance. Était le ministre des Finances. Office referred to Office bureau, 870, au bureau 870, and document was to be kept in the archive. Les the office place was different le from the document place. Bureau, du bureau pas le For même the office, des it was kept in the Office 870. Oh. Le bureau, c'était conservé au bureau 870, mais pour les documents, at the translation place. Euh, à au bureau de la traduction. Just want to make sure that that is a correct uh, summary of how you interpreted each of these names. C'est un bon résumé de l'interprétation de ces lignes sur la liste de distribution. Réponse. The statement that you just read ce que vous is venez de lire correct. est exact. That is my true statement. C'est ce que j'ai dit. Thank you. L'accusation. When you Merci. were instructed by Pon or Te to Quand create a number of copies, de créer un certain nombre de copies d'un télégramme, what did you do next? Que faisiez-vous par la suite? Réponse. After I typed it, Après l'avoir dactylographié, I prepare the message, put it in je préparais le message et je le mettais dans une enveloppe et je l'envoyais à K1. And would it be the case that Question. four or five copies would be placed in the same et envelope? 
or did you use separate envelopes for the different people who are named on the copy to line? dont le nom figurait sur la liste de distribution. Those messages were put in only one envelope. Tous les messages étaient mis dans une seule enveloppe. Mr. Pon or T. K1, soit Pon ou T. Would organize it for the sending to respective recipient uh, based on the copy lines too. Organize it for the sending to respective recipient based on the copy lines too. So, if we return briefly to the handwriting in the top left-hand corner, Donc, Uncle Norn, which you indicated. Norn. La note you écrite à la main was the handwriting of Tay. Selon vous, était l'écriture de Tay. In this case, am, am I correct in understanding from what you have said that that handwriting was placed on the document after it arrived at K1? Ce, cette annotation manuscrite a été rajoutée au document après son arrivée à K1. This handwriting Réponse. I I did not see this handwriting when I encoded the message. Quand j'ai tapé le message, je n'ai pas vu cette notation. C'est T qui l'a écrit. Who wrote this handwriting? Qui a écrit would understand that the content of the message related to Omnoon. For that reason, he wrote that word, Omnoon, Uncle Noon, on this message. message. How did you deliver the envelope containing several copies Et of the telegram comment avez -vous livré to cette enveloppe K1? Renfermant 4 ou 5 copies du telegram AK1. At my office, there was a messenger. Il y avait un messager à mon bureau. Whom I can use to deliver the letter to K1. And there was a post there at K1. So I instructed the messenger from my office to deliver the letter. To that uh, post in front post, of K1 office. Un post uh, qui était devant le bureau K. Now, just looking at those names. For another brief moment, in your second le sujet statement, de ces noms, at page, dans votre deuxième position, que l'on retrouve, Khmer zero zero two nine four five three six French, en français, zero 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 three seven nine four three three. And English zero zero four eight three nine six four document E three slash sixty seven. You said the following. Almost all telegrams were copied to the uncles, as I had seen in the past. But in any case, correction. But in case any uncle was not present, it was not necessary to make a copy for him. Could you confirm whether that is accurate? An accurate summary of your statement that. 
almost all telegrams would be copied to all uncles. Que tous les à and that one of the uncles et or more si un oncle ou plus would not a copy would not be made for him ab if he was absent. absent on ne préparait pas de copie pour cette personne. But, uh, that is correct, and my statement is uh, correct. Before I type the, the, the recipient of the copy through, I would seek the permission first as to whom or to which uncle the message shall be copied through. In certain messages, certain the messages message would be copied only to uncle and uncle noon and not uncle one, for instance, because he was not in. So it would only be put uncle, uncle noon to office and document based on the instructions I received. And in uh, certain cases, uh, some uncles were absent or not present. For instance, Mr. Yung Sari, sometimes he was overseas as he was in charge of foreign affairs. When he was not in the country, then the message would not be copied to him because there would be no correspondence back from him as he was overseas. Thank you. Question. In your first statement, E3 slash 64, le de votre premier entretien, 3 bar 64, Khmer ERN 00 328 037, French 00 and 0 0 You said the following. Vous avez dit. Question. As you understood it, Question. did those copies reach the hands of their receivers? Answer. Selon vous, que I believe they received them because those messages and translators réponse. Oui, je devais les recevoir car les messagers et les traducteurs avaient été embauchés loyal. pour ou, ceux Question. qui avaient été recrutés pour travailler là-bas étaient très loyaux. Based on your recollection, d'après vos souvenirs, were there any telegrams which had been sent out? Y a-t-il jamais eu de télégrammes envoyés qui n'aient jamais parvenu à son destinataire? Never reached their receivers. Answer: I never réponse. met that. Je n'ai jamais vu un tel cas. And finally, question: Was Question. it a big problem if that happened? Answer: Definitely, there would be a problem. Réponse: En effet, il y aurait un problème. Is that a correct summary of your statement? Est-ce que c'est une correcte résumé de votre interrogation? Is that a correct summary of your statement to the investigators? Est-ce là un résumé fidèle de vos propos aux enquêteurs du bureau des coûts d'instruction? The statement is correct as I stated uh, oui. back then. C'est ce que j'ai dit et euh, je maintiens. I also said yes, uh, there would be uh, a problem as je vous ai dit, en effet, il y aurait des problèmes. Rest, because in some cases, car dans certains some cas. My messages, my messages, which were confidential messages, but were leaked. It could be the result of the messenger who could be disloyal, or it could be the person who organized the decoded message, whether the decoded message reached the appropriate recipient, or it failed to be delivered, or that it was missing. Si le message disparaissait, il n'était pas livré. If the message was missing si or the message was leaked, un message disparaissait ou si l'information était euh, si l'information filtrée, c'était aux oncles or de décider s'ils avaient si c'était bien occupé du document ou si so ils avaient mal gardé le secret et que the confidential information from the message or the missing of any Donc, message il y avait it could happen at various stages. Ou, euh, un message qui disparaissait, cela pouvait se produire à plusieurs étapes. Putting aside those um, situations, do I understand correctly from this passage that we read? 
that your understanding was Question. that the recipients, in this case the uncles, 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 It is my conclusion that the majority of the messages la majorité des messages were received by them. Reçus par les oncles. The reason is that they organized and used the loyal people ils to work embauché, on this enfin, aspect. Recruter des they gens were très loyaux pour travailler là-dessus. And if they were careless, they would not be used to work si on gens this confidential nature kind of work. On ne les aurait pas recrutés pour du travail de nature confidentielle. In the course of your work, did Question. you have meetings with dans le cadre de votre travail, Pond avez-vous eu des réunions avec Pond to discuss the performance of pour discuter of your duties to make sure that they were properly performed pour vous assurer que vous exécutiez bien les tâches qui vous avaient été confiées There were Réponse. meetings to draw experience from our work. Il y avait des réunions pour euh, nous permettre de tirer des leçons de notre travail. And we would uh, pinpoint the strong or the weak points from our performance. Fort, point faible de nos rendements individuels avec ces réunions. The meetings were organized monthly or sometimes every two or three months Parfois, among deux, my uh, superiors. Euh, avec mes supérieurs. Bye, Pipi. And that was both to discuss the technical aspect pour discuter tant and de the performance and to improve the performance rendement et pour améliorer le rendement so that our uh, work would be more perfect. Pour améliorer et perfectionner notre travail. Thank you. Okay. Looking at Merci. your second statement, E3 67, E3/67, qui est le procès verbal de votre deuxième entretien. Khmer IRN 00294548. French IRN 00374942. English 00483976. And this is at paragraph 38. They gave verbal instructions. I listened to the instructions from Pon in meetings with him. If one wanted to give instructions, they came down to instruct us. I implemented this instruction. That is why I have survived until now. Whatever unit the content of the telegram concerned, it was sent to that unit. Quand un télégramme traitait d'une certaine d'une certaine section, c'est à cette section que le télégramme était envoyé. One gets the impression of a very organized and disciplined unit. Am I accurate in coming to that view? Regarding that statement, réponse. It talked about the moral behavior that a woman was raped. Dans le message, euh, on parlait de comportement moral et d'une femme violée. Probably for that reason, that's why there was a handwriting of Uncle Noon up there. 
à la main entre nous. Thank you. Just returning to um, my question, le procureur. the Merci. passage from your statement seems to describe a very disciplined operation. On a l'impression d'une organisation très disciplinée. And you say that you survived because you followed instructions. Am I correct ordres. in concluding Donc, that this was a highly organized and well-performing operation, bien organisé et qui fonctionnait bien? So réponse. that is uh, true. That vrai. is maintaining secrecy and maintaining the principle and the work performance within my office bon that I implemented subsequently based on the instructions, the La principles and the disciplines set out by the upper echelon. In particular, in regards to the functioning of my Notamment office. Dans le de mon Thank you. Do you know who Pon Question. and Tay received their instructions from? Savez-vous qui étaient les supérieurs de Pon et Tay? Pon and Tay. Worked directly with Pol Pot. Pon était travaillé directement avec Pol Pot. And they also had the role of the secretaries. Ils avaient un rôle équivalent à celui All the instructions that they gave to me Toutes les instructions were not their own instructions. Me donner n'étaient pas les leurs. They were instructed. C'était des instructions qu'ils avaient reçues the above, or de l'échelon supérieur ou ils avaient pris des notes lors de la réunion du comité permanent avant de me faire Thank part de, de ces instructions. Do I understand correctly that Sometimes the instructions which they gave to you to encrypt came following deliberations or discussions or decisions of the standing committee. Is that correct? The instruction did not exist in writing, pas sous forme or whether it is an evidence of the meeting from the standing committee. Dans les However, because du comité permanent. they were close to the chairman of the standing committee, comme ils étaient proches du président du comité then permanent, they would just relay the instructions ils, from the relayer committee to les instructions me. du comité permanent et me donner les instructions. Thank you. Now, returning to that document D toujours, 200 slash si 3.2 or E3 slash 5.13, the telegram that we've been le, le telegram que nous discussing, dont nous parlions, You confirmed earlier that Vous office was a reference to office 870, 870, which was a different place from document. Et que c est, c est en, so just starting from documents, Donc, do, do I understand correctly that archive, that copy would be held at Pond's office at K1? Cette copie demeurait au bureau de Pond à K1.
The word office in the copy line means that a, a copy of that message will be maintained at Office 870. It was a part of within the K1 compound. As for the document at my office, I also maintain a copy at my office that is referred to if uh, in reference to the documents that are encoded. So if they need to verify the nature of the original document, they would come to my office. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, would that mean that um, where you translated a document, it would be a copy would be retained at your office. Quand vous traduisez un document, on en garde une copie à votre bureau. Et si c'était l'équipe de Pond, then they would retain a copy. Conserver un exemplaire. Ah, yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. I would usually maintain the last carbon copy, which was not really that clear, but for those clear carbon copies, they would be sent to those who were brothers or uncles. Thank you. Any other questions? Do you know what the Words eight, Office 870 represented. Savez-vous ce que les mots Bureau 870 représentaient? Response. Office 870 Bureau was the office for the party center. Le bureau du centre du parti. And uh, Paul Pot was the chair person Et of this Paul office. Paul Pot était le président de ce bureau. Thank you. Is that designation Office 870 that you just described ce titre, the same or different? Than Committee 870, which you've also discussed in your statements. Que le Comité 870, que vous avez aussi mentionné, ou est autre chose? Response. Réponse. 870 was the party center, or at the same time called the Committee. Of the center, and there has there had not been any change prior to 1975 or after 1975. The term 870 had uh, been referred to as the party center, and it remained the same all along. Thank you. Looking at um, your first statement while we're on this issue, again E3 slash 64, and this is at Khmer ERN 00328036, French 00411704. English 00 334053 three, 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 We have the following passage. Question, what did, quote, to the committee 870, end quote, mean, and whom did that refer to? Answer, it referred to the entire central committee. Is that a correct summary of, of your of your statement in relation to Committee 870? Response. 
Yes, it is correct. Because 870 did not refer only to any individual or brother. For example, if it noted 870, it would have been referred to the center committee rather than any individual. Cela faisait référence au comité central et non pas à l'individu. And uh, when the letter was returned and if it addressed uh, to respected brother, it means it would be referred to Popot and au respectueux frère, if it is referred to as 870, then it referred to the Thank you for that clarification. Um, and just to um, conclude on this document, um, in the copy line, we see both uncle, which you indicated was Pol Pot, and office, which is Office 870. Am I correct in concluding that there were two copies in this case, one to Pol Pot personally and one to Office 870? Response. No, uh, normally no. It, it was rare that only two copies uh, could have been made uh, because each uh, message had to be copied into at least four copies. And when it comes to brother, uh, rather uncle, uh, they were different from the office. Des frères ou des oncles. Office here referred to Ici, le mot bureau. Uh, office 870 of the Anka when Anka could be referred to Pol Pot. Thank you. Pol Pot. Now, having Question. looked at the format and content of that Nous telegram, avons passé en revue le format. what I would like to do next is go through a series of other telegram. telegrams. Uh, we will spend less time on them, um, but I would like temps. to uh, see if you are able to assist us in understanding Pour their format si and the way in which they were processed. Mr. President, the next document. Je voudrais faire une remarque à propos de la dernière question de Monsieur le Procureur. C'est une remarque pour les transcrits. Il me semble que la question du Procureur est contestable dans le sens où nous avons une différence entre le texte du PV d'audition qui a été cité par le procureur et l'audio sur ce que signifiait le mot « comité 870 ». Dans le texte de, de l'audition écrite qui a été cité par le procureur, il est indiqué effectivement, comme l'a cité uniquement le procureur, que Le mot « comité 870 » signifiait « comité central ». Toutefois, si nous lisons l'audio qui a été réalisé par les services de votre tribunal, nous voyons que, à cette question, en réalité, le témoin avait répondu « oui, le comité 870 sous-entend tout le comité central, virgule, le comité permanent ». Donc il y a, dans l'audio, the, the standing committee. Uh, une réponse qui est différente so the de celle qui a été citée, à mon avis, à dessein, par M. le Procureur, 
Je pense que cela devait être dit cited, sans attendre uh, le so contre-interrogatoire. Mr. President, I would object to this intervention in the strongest le possible terms. This is a completely, completely inappropriate intervention. intervention. I took the witness through his statement. The witness spoke in his own words and described each of the officers. This is an attempt, this is an attempt, Your Honours, to broadcast to the witness what he should be saying, and it should be sanctioned. Your Honours should warn counsel not to make interjections of this kind. If there is a proper objection, it should be made. This is not an objection. It is a comment, and my friend can take up the issue in his cross-examination. Look, the President. Council, I think we should uh, make sure that we have two stages before us today. Now the witness is before us, and evidence is being examined during the court proceedings. However, when it comes to discrepancies, it is your sole right to put questions to seek clarification or credibility with regard to the statement given. And uh, we know that it is the time when you allotted uh, the time to do so, then you can do it. Because we, the chamber, get used to the impeaching questions. And it, indeed, uh, we understand that you can do so during your time when you have the floor to put questions to the witness, and you should not be allowed to do that again um, when the other counsel or party is on his feet putting his questions. So, uh, co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Moving on to that Merci, second Monsieur document, Mr. Sopang, Your Honours, this is document E3-1679, and with your leave, I will give the witness a copy. It is another telegram, in this case dated the 30th of November 1975. And with your permission, I'll, I'll give the witness a copy. The President, indeed, you may uh, proceed, uh, but please, uh, can you repeat the identification of the document? Yes, Mr. President, it is E3-1679. It's a single-page telegram in Khmer. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Sopang, this is a document from 1975, so it is significantly earlier in time than the last one we saw. If we look at the the heading of the of this of this telegram, it is entitled Telegraph Number 15, respectfully submitted to Comrade Brother Paul. Uh, am I correct in assuming that was Brother Pol Pot? Response, yes, it is correct. And when we look at the the bottom of that page in Khmer, and perhaps it could be broadcast on the screen for everyone to see. Uh, below the date 30 November 1975, we see the name Chon being the author of the telegram. Do you, are you able to identify who this individual is? Chon? 
response. I do not recall réponse. this person because Je ne me pas I was de cette the, not the one who decoded uh, this telegram. It was meant uh, to be managed uh, by the person in the East Zone. Cela devait être fait par Thank you. Um, de la zone now, without going into the, the content of the telegram um, in any great detail, it discusses the dispersal of the uh, Muslim people in the East Zone. Um, and it seeks certain instructions from the center. Um, is it, is it accurate, or um, and tell us if you don't know, um, that this document originated in the East Zone? Is it exact to say, and tell us if you don't know, is it exact to say that this document originated from the East Zone? Response. It is correct to say that this document was reported to have been sent to Brother Paul, and it was from the East Zone. But the content of the message was not about Muslim. It, it, it's, it is about Islam. Thank you. Um, would a message such as this normally come from the secretary of the zone, or would it be a different individual? généralement envoyé par le secrétaire de la zone ou par euh, une autre personne. Response. I don't know who Réponse. was the author of the message. Je ne sais pas but it is a routine that whoever was the Secretary of the zone, then he would be entitled zone, to report directly to Brother Paul. And do you recall who was the Secretary of the East Zone in 1975? Secretary of the East Zone in 1975. Response. It was Sao Pum who was the East Zone's secretary at that time. Thank you. Question. Now, looking at Merci. the CC or copied to line in this document, we see that it was to be copied to Brother Noon, Brother Duan. Brother Yem and archives. I can ask you first, um, in this case, we don't see a reference to office. Is that unusual in your experience? D'après vous, est-ce que ceci est inhabituel? Response. It is Réponse. strange because I never noted such uh, people could be copied uh, to like that. But I knew other uncles. De cette manière. And it is also strange uh, to me that uh, the document was not copied to an office. Cela me so the CC section is strange to me. En copie au bureau. Donc cette liste de copie A me paraît étrange. Now looking at Brother Noon, in your first statement, Noon, at Khmer Dans ERN 00328040, French 00411707, and English 00334057, you said the following. 
This telegram was originally sent to Pol Pot alone, but the person in charge of the telegram knew that this matter must also be sent to the person who was in charge of people like Nguyen Chia in order to find a solution. Does that record accurately your, uh, your description of this, of this line in the telegram? Est-ce bien ainsi que vous avez résumé cette mention figurant sur le Telegram? Response. Yes, Réponse. I do. And it is the correct uh, oui. statement as what I already stated. Exact et bien ce que déjà dit. Thank you. Now, looking at Brother Duan, Question. in that same Merci. passage that I quoted earlier Ensuite, pour le frère from your first statement, you were asked who Brother Dawn and Brother Yem were, and you said the following, I did not know clearly about these two persons. Yem could be a member of the assembly, and Dawn might be the chairman of an office working with Nun Chia, or Q Sampan, or a member Nunchia of the Assembly responsible for the North Zone. Is that also accurate as a description of your words in relation to Brother Dawn? Response, yes, it is correct. Réponse, I oui, never know who Dune was. Indeed, when it comes to Brother Nun, I know that he was Nun Chia. And I never know for Nune. sure who Dune or Yam could have been. Avec certitude, qui était Dune et Yam. Thank you. Um, I'd like to, while we're dealing with the issue of Dawn, move on to another document um, a little bit later in time and see if it assists in understanding his role. Mr. President, this is document E3 slash 1103. It is a, another telegram dated the 7th of November 1976. With your leave, I have a copy for the witness. The President, uh, you may now proceed, and court officer is now instructed to bring the hard copy of the document for the witness. And the document is allowed to be put up on the screen. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I believe we have it ready, so if it could be uh, projected by the AV unit, uh, we will be grateful. Just in exploring the role of this individual, Mr. Sapang, I want to look at this document in a little bit of detail. It starts with telegram number two, to missed and respected comrade Dawn. In paragraph number one, it says, we have already received your telegram about materials. In paragraph two, it discusses the request by uh, this region for 10,000 coconuts to be provided. And then, in paragraph 3, it says the following. We would also like to inform you that the sector wants to send a youth comrade from radio communication unit to further study the radio communications coding 
we request to have this comrade participated in the upcoming course at the party's school. More than these, we would like to confirm the travelling documents. Should travelling car be registered and a mission letter for travelling from Sector 105 to Phnom Penh be issued? Question mark. We would like to know whether Ankar requires these letters to be issued. Now, this is signed by an individual called Chan, and it indicates that um, or it seems to uh, indicate that it was from Sector 105. Um, are you able to identify the author of that, of that document? Pouvez-vous identifier l'auteur de ce document? Response. Réponse. 105 was an autonomous zone, or rather sector, Le secteur 105 in the northeast zone. Nord However, I don't know the person by the name of Chan, Mais je ne pas cette who signed on this. I am familiar Chan with uh, Sarun, but not je Chan. Sarun, mais je ne pas Chan. Thank you. Returning to the, um, the first two paragraphs, there is a discussion about uh, materials and uh, a request from the sector for coconuts to be provided and also for seeds. Does that refresh your memory in any way as to what role Doon was playing? Response. Dun, perhaps, was the person who managed the materials according to this text. However, whether Dun was tasked with overseeing anything by the central or rather standing committee, it is not my knowledge. And in a third paragraph, um, where there is a discussion about a youth comrade being sent to study radio communication, coding, um, is that a reference to training to be provided at your school? This was dated the 7th of November 1976. I wonder if that helps you um, recall. Telegram est en date du 7 novembre 1976. Est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire? Response. Réponse. This message is about the radio communication. However, there was part of the message which was about the coding session. I don't know whether individuals uh, would be sent uh, to the radio communication course and the coding section, whether there was only one person or two people. Because uh, radio communication session was a different part from the the coding section, so I'm afraid I don't quite understand the message. Do you recall whether Duan had any role in helping organize the, the training for these uh, um, youth comrades coming from, in this case, Sector 105? Response. 
Dunn was not Impulse. tasked with educating people on radio communication or decoding. If people would like to be trained on radio communication, they would uh, be asked to contact K-18 that was tasked with that particular field. If it was about the coding, then I would be the person who would be asked. Thank you. This document was copied to Brother Nuon's office and documentation. Are you able to um, tell us why it would not have been copied to Pol Pot? Response. No, I'm not. No, je ne sais pas. The person who made the decision to copy to other individuals La qui made their own choice, and I don't know about this. But so far as I know, as part of the instruction, le décidé, uh, if the telegrams are aware uh, relevant to courant. any particular section, then y avait des the section of people of each of their sections had to be the one who had to solve the problems. For example, Alors, when it comes to the production, the seedlings, or the seed si materials, de de these matériaux, matters were relevant to the office. Qui le so, The standing committee already assigned Dunn as the, the person in charge. That's why Dunn was copied. And when the office was copied, it suggests that uh, Brother Dunn would also be the person copy, who received uh, this message uh, that was addressing to the office. Que Dun re oh, également ce message qui était the President, uh, thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor and uh, Witness. Merci, it is now an merci, appropriate uh, moment for lunch adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn until 1.30 p.m. Court officer is instructed to assist uh, the Monsieur Witness during the adjournment and have him return to the courtroom by 1.30 p.m. Counsel for Mr. Nuntier, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, I, I've just been informed that Nuntier is suffering from a backache, a headache, and a general lack of concentration. Uh, he would therefore like to spend the afternoon in a holding cell, and that is our application this morning that he be permitted to do so. Thank you. The President. The Chamber notes the request uh, of Mr. Nunti through his counsel, in which he asked that he be allowed to observe the proceedings from his holding cell due to his health concerns. Counsel has made it clear that his uh, waiver would be submitted immediately before the chamber. The chamber therefore grants such requests. Mr. Nuanche is now permitted to observe the proceedings from his holding cell, and with that, Mr. Nuanche has expressly waived his rights to participate directly in the courtroom. The chamber would like counsel for Mr. Nuanche to 
submit uh, this waiver signed or given some print by Mr. Nunchi to the chamber and AV booth officers are now instructed to ensure that the AV equipment is well connected to the holding cell so that Mr. Nunchi can observe the proceedings from there. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Nunchi and kill some pawn to their each respective holding cell and uh, have Mr. Kilson Pond return to the courtroom when the next session resumes in the afternoon at 1.30. The court is adjourned.